You know, it's interesting to me, um, not only we talked about the, the fact that my colleagues don't even think this is serious, that this is just theater, but I also want to point out that on, out of one side of their mouth, they'll say, hey, we want to help you solve this problem. And then several of my colleagues on the other side went, went along to say, but we need to continue to welcome these folks into the country and then pointed out all the economic benefits that come with them. New York City has always welcomed immigrants. One day without immigrants, you don't eat. Immigrants are what make that city the most dynamic in the country and have built its success. One day without immigrants, you don't have a hotel to stay in. Refugees and asylum seekers outperform American citizens even today as it relates to business growth, GDP, and economic, and economic output. And we must welcome immigrants that are fleeing horrific conditions in their countries in Central and South America. One day without immigrants, our economy collapses. Did you guys notice the, dif the difference, how they're talking out of both sides of their mouth, like, hey, we, we want to help you solve the problem, but it's really not a problem, it's actually a benefit. Mr. Borelli, did you notice that at all? With I, all the I, I did. I mean, we've talked about um, work authorizations, which may be a solution for the population, but it, it's not a solution if the next group of people can come tomorrow and the next day and the day after that. Uh, if, if there's no stopping of the problem coming to our city, the issuing of work authorizations and permits won't resolve it. Mr. Lyons, did you notice that? Absolutely. Uh, I think that first and foremost, because this is the Committee on Homeland Security, we need to secure the border, and then we can start talking about lawful immigration. Thank you, Mr. Lyons. Thank you, Mr. Borelli. Mr. Chairman, I yield back my time.